Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Manvi and today we are going to paint some orange birch bullet mushrooms in watercolors. Mushrooms are one of my favorite subject to paint, especially in this autumn season. So let's start with the materials that I am going to use. Uh, I will be using 100% cotton watercolor paper by Mango Originals. And the brushes that I am going to use are silver black velvet brush size 6 and the Princeton Neptune size 4. You can use any of the brushes. And lastly some watercolors. These are mostly from White Knights and two from uh, Daniel Smith. Now let's start painting our mushrooms. For the head of the mushroom, I'm painting with clear water and then I'm going to use some Golden Deep by White Knights. It's a beautiful orange which is not very vibrant. And while the paper is still wet, I'm adding burnt umber to it. Now I'm adding more golden deep color. And some cadmium red light. This needed more burnt umber as the initial layer is not much visible. Now moving on to the second mushroom. I'm going to repeat the same process here using golden deep, cadmium red light and burnt umber. I'm now painting the third mushroom head. This one is the last and the tiniest mushroom that we have. I'm taking out some buff titanium by Daniel Smith onto my palette and painting the stems of the mushrooms using this buff titanium. It's a beautiful semi-opaque watercolor and when you use to mix it with some other colors you can get very pretty pastel shades. I'm mixing some burnt umber to the buff titanium uh, for the lower part of the mushroom. I'm adding this fine line at the corner using burnt umber.
now I'm creating some textures on the stem by using sepia by white knights. Adding some borders using the same color. I'm using diluted sepia to paint the shadows of the mushroom. Now moving on to painting some leaves, I am using green by white knights. I already have some green in my palette and now I am mixing emerald green to it to paint these tiny leaves. Now painting the bottom part. I'm using that same green but this time I'm using more pigment and less water. Now some burnt umber for the soil. Now I'm mixing some green and burnt umber to give depth to the grass and the soil. I'm adding some detail to the leaves. These mushrooms are done but I think that the head of the mushrooms are very dull so I will be glazing a layer of pyrrole orange from Daniel Smith. Now the mushrooms are done. If you find the tutorial useful then please like the video and subscribe to my channel.